Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Blues Bunker in big city of Greensboro, North Carolina. I um, hope you're enjoying your Wednesday afternoon. It's rainy and damp and cold here, just the way I love it. I love the cold weather. Can't stand summer, can't stand hot weather. You can always put on enough clothes to stay warm, but you can never take off enough to stay cool. So that's why I love this cold weather. All right, well, let's get right into it today. We're going to start working on a couple of new chords. Last week we worked on the chord G. Oops. Where's my block? There it is. The D chord and the D chord. I hope you've been practicing and getting these two down so that the you can play them and switch between them nice and easy and smooth <clears throat> and like I say if you're playing these chords and you can't get your fingers fast enough don't worry about it keep strumming and then put your fingers where they're supposed to go you know doesn't matter if there's a hip uh, strum with no strings fretted right here because that sounds just as good and it sounds like you know what you're doing. It's also, uh, it's just natural. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so that's your D chord and your G chord. Now we're going to go to the C chord. This one's a little harder to do. So you have to see I'm still working on it. It's hard to get your fingers to do what they're supposed to do sometimes. So let's work on the where your fingers go. So we're gonna take the first finger, put it on the second string on the first fret, and we're gonna take the middle finger, put it on the fourth string of the second fret. We're gonna take the ring finger, put it on the fifth string of the third fret. And you may have to bend your wrist a little. Instead of keeping it straight, you may have to bend it there to get all the strings to sound out. Because sometimes if you don't use the tip of your fingers or you can't get the fingering right, you're gonna mute some strings. So we wanna keep your wrist bent if you have to so that you can sound out all the strings. See, it's like that. And that is C, and it's a pretty chord. And now that you've got C, G, D, C, one song that comes to mind is Bob Dylan's, <clears throat> oh, what's the name of it? Um, Bob Dylan. Um, crap, now I can't think of the song. Well, if you play the chords enough, you'll you'll get it. If you know any of Bob Dylan's songs, maybe it'll come to me before we get through this lesson. See, it's hard sometimes to get that C chord. So once again, it's the first finger on the first fret, the second string, then the middle finger on the second fret, the fourth string, and then the middle finger on the third fret of the fifth string. And that's your C chord. So now we've got G, D, C. G, C, D might be able to hear my dogs. I got a hold of a bag of M&Ms I had <clears throat> on my nightstand, so they're tearing into it, and my big lab, he will tear your hand off if you try to take them away from him, so they get a free bag of candy, unfortunately. All right, so we got G, D, C. Now we're gonna work on the E chord, and that's this is fun, because your E chord, a couple of ways you can do it. You can do the full 
that's what I call the full finger of the D chord. This is your rock and roll chord in, by the way. That's your rock and roll chord right there, the E chord. So, how you do that is you take your first finger, first fret, third string. Then you take your middle finger, put it on the fifth string of the second fret. And you take your ring finger and put it on the fourth string of the second fret. And that's your E chord. I don't know why I got such a shadow today. But it's a very simple chord. And also another way that you can do the E chord. This is the blues E chord. You take your middle finger and your ring finger. I'm sorry, your first finger. Put it on the third string of the first fret. Take your middle finger, put it on the fifth string of the second fret. And see see how close that sounds to E. So you can do it either way. Uh, I do it the blues way. Which, because it makes it easier to go into other blues chords. We haven't learned a yet but you can go you can use this to do the a chord and it goes right into the e chord and then you can little 12 bar blues That's just, that's a little thing we'll get into later. But your E chord that you play, you can play like that with three fingers, or you can play with just, oops, I'm sorry, two fingers. The blues E chord. Blues, that's an A chord. We'll work on that next week. So you got your E, so you got four chords to work on now. G, D, C, and E. So this week, let's try just getting those smooth and easy and changing through them. And it doesn't matter Ooh. Doesn't matter what order you play them in, play them whatever sounds good to you. That's how you play the guitar. You play what sounds good to you. Doesn't matter if other people don't like it. You gotta play what sounds good to you. So you can play these chords in any progression, any order. That's what helps you get better. Practicing and playing the chords. That's how, how you go through your chords. Just practice them, make them fluid, 
make them sound pretty. It doesn't matter if you're using a acoustic guitar or an electric guitar. Play what you got. And if you're, you want to go up and get, uh, if you want to go up to an electric guitar from acoustic or from an electric guitar down to acoustic, you know, whatever you want to play, these work good. These work on either guitar. So there's no pressure on having to get one guitar or the other. The only pressure you got with guitars is finding one that feels good in your hands and plays good. Um, you know, that's how you got, that's how you sound good. Find the guitar that sounds good and it feels good. And to do that, you just have to go through them, go to the guitar shop, play a bunch of different guitars. If, you know, you don't feel intimidated when you go in there, just play what you know. I feel intimidated all the time because there's people in there that want to be superstars all the time. And you think they're the only guitar players in the world when you go into the guitar store and try to listen and hear uh, and listen to what people are playing. But that's just a little side note. We can get into that a little later on. Uh, leave your comments down at the bottom where you always uh, leave your comments. I'm sorry about that. I enjoyed today's lesson. Uh, remember, we're working on the G chord, the D chord, the C chord, and the E chord. So work on those. Uh, you can find them online if you forget how to finger them. It's not hard. You want to get them in your head on how to finger them. Try not to look at them every time you do them. But the more you do it, you got will get your muscle memory going and working and playing. So work on that. Uh, we'll have another video next week. Uh, if anything comes up where I get to unbox something or some kind of special blues news comes up or rock news comes up, I'll try to get it on here. Uh, but anyway, glad we had this little bit of time together. Work on your chords and blues to you. <laughs>